Hello everyone, welcome to our next T Inspire lesson. Today we're looking at the normal distribution. When you're looking at the normal distribution, typically you get two different kinds of questions. Uh, one question is where you get the area and you have to figure out what the number is. And the other one is where you get the number and you have to figure out what the area is. So we're looking at two different kinds of questions and uh, how to use the T Inspire to answer these questions. So let's look at our first example. Suppose you're given the class average is 72 on the test with a standard deviation of 8. What percent received a grade of lower than 60%? So whenever I do these kinds of questions, first I like to draw it out. So if it's a normally distribution where the mean, the class average, the mean is 72 and a standard deviation of 8. So one standard deviation would be between 80 and 64. Um, so that would be 68% or between 64 and 80. Two standard deviations, we can add and subtract eight more, etc., etc. So I got a feel of what, what is going on. I know that 50% of the people got less than 72. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, so they want to know what percent receives a grade of lower than 60%. So 60% would be somewhere around here, and we want to know what percentage of the people get lower than 60% on the test. So if we look on the T-Inspire, if we look at the T-Inspire, as always, sorry about this, um, we go to, um, let's go to calculate. And then we always go to the menu. And this one, this question, we're looking at probability. I like to type number five as opposed to go down, down, down. So number five, number five. And it's a normal distribution. For this one, we're gonna use the normal CDF. So number two. And it says a lower bound, upper bound. This symbol is the mean and this symbol is the standard deviation. So if we go back to our question, well, our lower bound is well, if we're looking at the normal distribution, it goes from infinity to negative infinity. So the lowest number would be, the lower bound would be negative infinity. And they've already actually written it for you. The upper bound, well, the upper bound for this question, well, we want to know uh, what percent re receives a grade lower than 60. So we want 60 and lower. So the highest mark is 60. So we're gonna put 60 here. And the mean was 72. And the standard deviation was eight. Press okay, and you get the answer of 6.68%. Uh, so 6.68%. So this means that roughly 7% of the people would get a grade of 60 and lower. Another kind of question you'd be given is, uh, for instance, uh, the second one, where we still have the mean is 72 and the standard deviation is eight, but this time we're actually given the area. We're given that 30% got a grade of higher than some number. So if we were to draw it, once again, your mean is 72, and it says 30% got higher than some number. So we're trying to figure out what the number is this time before we were given the number 60 and we had to find the area. This time we're given the area and we have to find what the number is. Now the, the one thing about this when you're using the calculator, it only finds the area to the left of the number. So if it tells you 30% got higher than a number, when you go to the calculator and you are trying to calculate the area, so once again, it's menu, probability, distribution. Um, this time we're doing the inverse, we're doing it opposite way. The area is not gonna be 30%, but it's gonna be 70%, and they want it in a decimal. So I'm gonna put 0.7. The mean is still 72, and the standard deviation is eight. Press okay, and it says 76.2, 76.2. So if we go back to this question, we get the answer of 76.2. And it's important when you get the answer that you look at it and see if it makes sense. Well, if 50% got between zero and, or zero and 72, then 
76.2, yeah, that seems right, about 70% got it. So I feel comfortable with this answer. Hope this helps. Have a good day.